Hi, Kodai. Congratulations. Um, we just heard Billy talk about what drew the Mets to you. What was it about the Mets that made you want to join this team? He really felt that the Mets really uh, showed that they wanted him here, and also the opportunity to pitch with such great veteran pitchers as well. Kodai, what do you know about New York? How often have you been here in the past, and, and what do you like about the city? New York, I was in New York a few years ago. I don't know about New York, but I don't know about New York. I think there's a lot of people who are very proud of the city, and I'm proud of the city. Uh, he had the chance to come out to New York about a month ago. At this point in time, um, he doesn't really know too much about New York, except for the fact that there are a lot of people, and it's a very exciting place to be. Kodai, you've had to wait a long time to play for the United States. It's been a goal for you. What it, is it like right now, having realized this goal? I was really excited to come to America, and I was really excited to come to America. And I was really happy to come to America. He was definitely very excited when he finally learned he had the chance to come over here, and um, he's still full of excitement going into the season as well. If I can just have one more, we've heard a lot about your ghost fork. Uh, what's, can you talk to us about that pitch and the development of that pitch and how it served you over your career? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> have you sought out any advice from any other, other pitchers from Japan who have played in the major leagues? まあ本当に何年も前からダルビッシュさんにアドバイスをもらったり意見をもらったりして僕の中ではすごいいい刺激をもらっていた存在なのでそういう方々からあの話を聞くたびにさらにアメリカで野球で野球をやりたくなったなという気持ちが強くなったところかなと思います。Um, for the last few years, he's been in contact with you,、uh, Darvish, and he's、uh, given him a lot of good advice. And、uh, every time he did speak to Darvish. And other pitchers as well. It gave him more excitement to come over and pitch in the states. You mentioned the opportunity to pitch with some really great veteran pitchers. What do you know about Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander, and what are you looking forward to getting to know about them? Well, really, the two of them are very legends. They are both of them. 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 I think I have a lot of stories and I have a lot of feelings that I have been here. I have a lot of feelings that I have been here in America and I have a lot of feelings that I have been here. Those two pitchers that you named are obviously legendary pitchers that even every player in Japan would know of. And he's very excited to learn from those two and be with them in the clubhouse. The meeting you had with Buck Showalter,、um, can you talk about that? Because Buck talked about it in glowing terms and what was that conversation like? えー、最初は少しちょっと顔が怖いかなと思ったんですけど話してみたらめちゃくちゃ、えー、明るく、うん、すごい、えー、出迎えてくれるような感じだったので、えーまあ、いきなりジョークを言ってくれたりだと、うん、すごい、あのー、僕も話しやすい印象はすごいあります。But after that, and getting to talk to him, and he was cracking jokes and whatnot, he realized how、um, comfortable that he could be around someone like that. Kodai, have you、uh, spoken to any of your Mets teammates? Has anyone reached out since you joined the team? Edwin Diaz さんからあのメスメッセージのスタンプをもらったり、少し挨拶させてもらったりしました。Some have reached out, in particular, say like Edwin Diaz sent him a Instagram DM welcoming him. Kodai, what do you want the fans of New York to know about you? とにかくここで野球をやるために長い間日本に日本で野球をしていたんですけど、とにかくここでやるっていうことに幸せを感じている人間なので、野球を楽しくファンの方にあいつ野球楽しんでるなと思ってもらえるような選手で、そして成績も,もちろん出して歓迎されるような選手になりたいと思います。You know, he's been playing in Japan for a long time, wanting to play here. That was his big goal. So he just wants the fans to understand and know that he's very blessed to play here and play in the States. And that,、um, of course, he still does want to you know, put up good numbers as well.